Because he has said, we can boldly say. Hebrews chapter 13 verses 5 and 6. Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? The writer of Hebrews in this, these two verses of scripture points us to an important reasoning on, 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 and the basis of why we can boldly say things. He makes a simple statement. He says, because he himself has said, he has said, God has spoken, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Because God has said that, we boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? So our saying and our bold saying or our bold confession is based on what God himself has spoken and what God has said, what God has assured us. Because God has said this, we can boldly proclaim this or we can boldly speak in this manner. So I wanted to encourage you and want to remind you this week that when that in any situation, you and I, we discipline ourselves to intentionally and boldly say what God has promised for us. You see, when we face different situations in life, uh, we tend to think, you know, what is this situation going to do to me? You know, let's say there is a, a sudden financial challenge that you face. Let's say, you know, uh, some bad news comes your way. Uh, something has happened. In that moment, we tend to think, you know, how is this going to impact me? But I want to challenge you that while you hear that news or face that situation, and, and we are not denying the situation or what we're hearing and facing, at that moment, we need to say, what has God said that relates to this matter? What has God spoken that relates to the situation? And then boldly say in that situation what God has said. For example, let's say you face a need and you know that you don't have uh, what it takes to meet that need. Maybe you don't have enough money to meet that need. Sure, that's a fact. Uh, there's a need, you don't have enough money to meet that need. But what has God said? He has said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He has said, my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory through Christ. So because he has said that, in that situation, we can boldly say, the Lord is my shepherd, I will not be in want. We can boldly say, my God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory. So we are not denying the situation. We are not denying uh, the, whatever we are facing. What we are, what we are doing is saying, God has said something and I'm going to base my speaking on his promise. I'm going to boldly say what God has said because his word is truth. Let's train ourselves to do that. And we will see tremendous results because when we speak his word, God is faithful to fulfill his word. Let's pray. God, we ask you that we will always look to what you have spoken to us. And in every situation, we will boldly say what you have said. Because you have spoken, we speak in such manner. We thank you for helping us do this. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.